The transformation of the former Oakdale Mall into the Oakdale Commons is about to reach a major milestone with the scheduled opening of the Dick's House of Sport next month. Dave Dimmick provided an update to the Binghamton Noon Rotary Club today on the project. Dimmick is the vice president of Spark JC, which purchased the property in J January of last year. Dimmick says that as of June 30th, Spark JC fulfilled its requirements for the House of Sport and that the remainder of the project is now in Dick's hands. The House of Sport is a 140,000 square foot facility, the largest store ever built by Dick's Sporting Goods. Original plans included a climbing wall, batting cages, golf fitting rooms, a large footwear department, and a glass elevator. Plans also included a 17,000 square foot outdoor track and turf field that will double as an ice rink in the winter for clinics, practices, and for customers to try out their merchandise. However, Dimmick says that this is all just the tip of the iceberg of what's to come at the Commons. Redeveloping Oakdale Mall and the Oakdale Commons in the tenants that we're bringing into and in the mixed use of medical, office, and the retail tenants we brought in is, is going to be a huge impact on the community. Um, we're going to be bringing you know, many visitors to the mall once again. Now, I should note that these aerial drone video uh, is, well, I think, a, a little bit old, so things have even progressed since this video was taken. Dimmick says that the BJ's Wholesale Club has erected walls and is slated to open in mid-January of next year, and that BJ's will include gas pumps outside of the store. Dimmick confirmed that the Chipotle will be up and running by the end of summer and that an NBT bank is being constructed toward the back of that separate building. He says Dave and Busters has just entered the demolition phase and it's expected to open in the summer of next year.